Welcome in, beautiful babes, sweet angel here. Thank you so much for coming to hang out with me today on yet another video. And we are talking about women stuff. That's right, real talk. Real talk is right here. And listen, y'all, when I posted the video the other day, I just want to thank you all for your participation, your comments, your questions. That is what it's all about, and that is what helps to keep the ball rolling so we can have these real talks. Now, again, y'all know I'm not a doctor. I am completely so far away from that, and I know, y'all know, my name is Sweet Angel, and what I do is simply read, research, and try to find out as much as I can because it's all about interaction and that is what social media is all about. This is not to treat anyone, diagnose any issue, not to give you any kind of recommendations that you will take for the Holy Grail. You should know one thing about any information that you get. Please, by all means, seek professional care when it comes to your body, yourself, whatever you're doing with yourself, be sure you get a professional's opinion and diagnosis. And because today's topic is somewhat serious, and I'm saying somewhat serious, meaning that as I researched this and discovered some things, you've got to know your body and you've got to know the real deal of what's going on. So we're going to chat and we're going to answer the questions that was posed on the previous video. If you did not catch that one, I'll make sure I link it down in the description as well as in the I cards where you can click on it and go right to it and you'll be able to scroll through the questions as well. Now the one thing that I'm truly all about for you all and definitely I try to for myself is self-care. Absolutely. Self-care is important before menopause, during menopause, after menopause, all around, anytime. I don't care who you are, self-care is important. So do your very best to take care of yourself. And that's one of my journeys for 2023 started off to eating a balanced diet, making time for exercise, and getting enough sleep. All of those are ultimately important to our overall health, well-being, how we feel. Yes, that's first of all. And then we need to stick to that healthy lifestyle as much as possible. And at the end of the day, I want you to make a vow to yourself that you will see your doctor regularly. I promise that'll make a big difference, even though they too can make some misdiagnosis. But we gonna try, okay? And at least have us a benchmark to go on. You know how you feel. You know what's going on with you. Or at least you should be able to explain what's not right or what you are not accustomed to that's happening to you. So let's dive in today to have you ever had a period during menopause? And we're going to talk about what's happening. Why? Why is it happening? Now, first of all, let's, let's get into the serious part first. If you are postmenopausal and you have a period, I'm talking to the women who have not had a period for one year, 12 months or longer, have not had a period, and suddenly she shows up at the door. And you answer, and you're like, why are you here? What are you doing? I did not ask for you. I did not send for you. Why are you here? That, my friends, beautiful babes, get your butt to the doctor. Get your butt to your gynecologist ASAP, okay? You got to, because the one thing about it is, it should not be happening. It is not normal. It should not be happening. Now, a lot of people have concerns about, oh my gosh, I'm 52 and I'm still having a cycle. Well, did you ever stop having a cycle is the question. Other than the normal time that you would stop, 
or has it been sporadic or did you at any point in time go a full 12 months without a cycle ask yourself that question okay and if you have a concern and you're 52 and you want to know am i healthy am i okay when you go to the doctor they'll say well everything's fine you know a lot of women don't stop having a cycle until 55 or even longer than that it depends it just depends on every woman's every woman's body every woman's body is different some of our girls work slow some work fast we all have to know our own bodies but again if you have gone through menopause and you are at the post menopausal stage you should not be having a period period go see your gynecologist okay please do that now if you are at an age where you know three months you didn't have a period period you didn't have one you say oh i think i've gone through menopause i will have to deal with my auntie coming to town no more hallelujah fourth month she shows up hey girl hey and you're like what are you doing here i didn't ask for you i didn't send for you why are you here okay more than likely you just haven't gone through menopause you just had a few months or a little time of an irregular period can happen for various reasons things like stress pcos unhealthy lifestyle habits birth control rapid weight change or you may be perimenopausal and so on okay so you just had a moment so deal with her she's in town she's going to be coming to town but until you for a full stretch of 12 months haven't seen your auntie auntie's still going to be calling on you okay go to the store <laughs> get what you got to get deal with it so overall this is not going to be a super long video but i'm going to get to the questions and see what we have and if we haven't answered the question then we're going to answer that one and move forward and all of my beautiful babes with all this worldly experience y'all need to chop it up down in the comments okay chop it up if you're new to the channel hello hey i'm sweet angel and welcome to the beautiful bay brigade go ahead and slap that subscribe button because you don't want to miss what's going on over here for sure let's get to our beautiful babes questions so first one up linda was up give it up to linda y'all hey girl hey linda says i am 67 and i am still having a monthly cycle is there an herb or vitamin that can help menopause visit me first thing linda all i want to say is have you seen your doctor okay if you are 67 and still having a cycle perhaps you should check there first make sure everything's a-okay all right and with the question of herbs or vitamins or supplements we're going to talk about some but they're not technically going to help menopause come visit you they do more or less kind of help relieve some other symptoms that go along with menopause so i hope that was helpful but i think that's the biggest help that anyone can give you is to go see your gynecologist fact now the next question is canista asks what make your period come back after a year and she's even gotten a little conversation stirred up about that god's gift stated girl i know you were mad went a little over 11 months and bam showed up wow and ladybug says oh no well again there are various reasons now when you google this google will make you feel like you need to leave up at the door okay <laughs> so that is why i don't want to get into so much grueling detail about possibilities a or b okay I really want you to see your way to a doctor and ask them, is everything okay with me? Have you checked with your gynecologist to say, listen, I need to get checked out, okay? 
I need to find out if everything's okay because my auntie came to town and I didn't ask for her. I didn't send for her. So why is she here? That's the question that I want y'all to keep on the table when you go see your doctor, your GYN, find out what's going on with you. First of all, if they say everything is normal, you're A-OK, -okay, all you can do is say, Hello to my little friend. Cause she back. Well, Doom Stumper, and I suppose that's how the name is. I'm not sure if it's Doom or Dome Stumper. Says, yes, girl, thank you. We need a part two, please. Got y'all. And let's carry on to Adela. Adela says, I wish I was done with having a period. I'm 52. I think it's because I'm overweight. Elizabeth says, LOL, you supposed to be finished, boo. Well, not always true. Not always true. 52? Hmm. Most times, as I've researched, menopause can last up to the age of 55. Normally. Okay? Normally. So, depends on your body. Maybe your levels of estrogen and progesterone are still pumping and your hormones are not declining like the normal 52 year old says girl you're you're good to go you're good to go we we still here we we still chirping okay the clock ain't counted down for you you still got it okay so therefore take it like it is but if you again if it appears to be a problem your doctor should tell you your gyn should tell you there is a problem this is what's going on if not, it's going to say normal. You're good to go. Go to the stove. Pick up what you got to pick up. Okay. Next question. Hey, Cynthia. Is it a question or a comment? Auntie, sweet angel, your content is always informative. Much love. Oh, thank you. Elizabeth says, absolutely. Elizabeth, 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 you all in the comments, girl. Thank you so much for the interaction in the comments. It's so important. And Cynthia, thank you. I appreciate that. I am hoping this will be helpful. I promise y'all I'm excited every day because not only to give my beautiful babes something they want to interact with, hear about, know about, but to be of some value to someone who needs to know some things and to also stimulate my own mind and learn some things that I didn't know. And that's very enlightening. I love learning new things and I love learning about new things. And this makes me happy for sure. So you're welcome 10 million times over. Let's go on to the next. Madeline Jones says, I need a part two, please. Girl, you're going to get a part three now because we are digging into this. We need to know. Real talk. Thank you, Madeline. We'll definitely be doing that. Yoli, how you doing? Thank you so much for your comment. And her comment is perimenopausal hit me at 50 or menopause. My periods stopped and the weight gain happened. I miss my periods so much. Wow. That's it. That's one of those topics that we're going to get to. And I have something for y'all that I am trying right now. So by the time maybe I get to that, maybe I'll have some good results with that weight gain situation going on, right? That's been my problem as well. But hey, I can't say that because I've been a thick girl all along. I ain't going to lie. I ain't going to hold y'all, as the young folks say. I ain't going to hold y'all. So I would be not telling the truth. But right now it's forming in different areas you know where it used to be on the bottom nasty into the middle and on the arms baby we got to do something so let me tell you don't miss the period at all she can stay away period don't come back and see me i don't want to see that okay i can deal with this weight i'm gonna work on this weight but that mm -mm. i'm a 24 hour woman and i love it Okay, but we're going to work on the weight. That's going to be one of our topics as well, Yoli. So stick and stay right here. I hope you have your bell notification on because when you see it happen, I'm going to be talking some good stuff. Hopefully that's going to be something that not only will I be talking it, I'll be walking it too. That's what we're looking for. Oh, Gail Adams, what you talking about, girl? Gail says you are one sophisticated woman and an inspirational person to me. 
I love to watch you speak on different subjects. I haven't been happy with going through this change of life. I am 55 and I am not happy at all. I cry. I can't stay focused. I'm just a wreck. Now she wrote wreck. But I know she meant wreck. But then again, she might have meant wreck. Who knows? But either way, I understand. And listen, stick and stay. I'm not going to tap into that side of things right now. But we're going to talk about some things that will help you feel happy. Some things that will help you get through the day. Some things that will balance out the emotions. And of course, you can always see your doctor. But they're going to pump you with something that you might not really want. But we want to help try to take control of that, okay? Because we're going to work it out. We can work it out. I believe we can handle that one, okay? So stick and stay right here. And thank you, Gail, for that information. And thanks for sharing because you're not the only one. You're not the only one. Let's go on to the next one. Lady of God says, thank you, sweet angel. You are welcome. And Lady of God, we're going to thank God over here because if this is my calling and what I'm supposed to do, I want to thank him right now for giving this opportunity to me to share, to be here on this platform for my beautiful babes, whoever comes through here. Hopefully, I can be a blessing to you because you all are definitely a blessing to me. I love doing this. I love my job. I promise y'all, y'all going to have to check me out on Sweet Angel MTV because I got to talk about my jobs and I'm going to tell y'all some tea that you might not know over there because let me just put it like this. I love this job. That's that. Next comment or next question comes from Alpha Faye. Alpha Faye just threw me some hearts all over the place. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You know, y'all know, or you should know that I love hearts and at the end of each video I definitely try to entice y'all to give me some more hearts down in the comments because they just make me smile so thank you so much baby precious says thank you for the video needed this you are so welcome thank you I appreciate y'all I hope y'all getting y'all shout outs because your name is being called now now let me tell you something it's all good we are here for a reason together so listen y'all know who i am i'd love to know each one of y'all so always leave a comment introduce yourself let me know where you're tuned in from i want to know i want you to be here and that makes me happy when you do leave a comment because i know all of the work that i do to get these videos to y'all is not in vain see i almost messed up and didn't catch this baby precious but you also complimented my makeup love your makeup today you look beautiful as always you need to do a makeup video always enjoy girl i don't know if i'll be doing it over here on beauty but because y'all know i got my other channel keeping it cute with sweet angel so you might have to check it out over there but thank you so much so i'm going to tell you it's coming soon but it'll probably be on keeping it cute okay kim washington hey girl hey kim has a comment here thank you all information so informative i am experiencing so many of the symptoms you discussed and that's what it's all about we're going to talk about it sometimes when you talk about it you might be able to find something that's helpful beneficial that can help you walk through it a little bit better yes indeed so this right now is really the end of this video because when it comes to having your periods mainly postmenopause, that's something that you do need to see a doctor about now perimenopause going through the stages of menopause to the stages you're going to have irregular periods that's normal that is normal but no matter what as a woman go see your gyn check on your body and make sure everything is a-okay have the kitty cat meowing like it's supposed to okay you gotta keep it going gotta keep it going and that's my take on it if y'all have any more information you want to drop it down in the comments your experience your knowledge you're welcome to do that because people are watching people need to know and most importantly take care of yourselves go to the doctor let them diagnose i'm not here to do that 
I cannot tell you what's going on because I don't know. But they have all kind of great technology now that will pinpoint it much, much better than us Googling things to determine our health issue that we know we need to get our doctors to check on. And she's important. She is important. Take care of her. That's what you need to do. I'm Sweet Angel. I hope you got some kind of value out of this video today. Everybody who left a comment, I'm going to go now and personally reply back to all of those in case you missed this video. And beautiful babes, I will see y'all on the next one. We have more topics to discuss. So please make sure you lock me in, subscribe to the channel, turn on your bell notification, and get ready for the next Real Talk video about the things that we need to know. I tell you what, I'm finding out a lot and I'm loving it. Y'all take care of yourselves and I appreciate each and every one of y'all. See y'all on the next one. Bye. You say you are lost and you're in need of some advice. Mm -hmm. I'll try to be honest. Though it's easier to lie And you can say that I'm crazy That you think you're not ready But I'm telling you, baby Get up and get out 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 It's okay and cry